Hey guys, it's the Covert Crow and welcome back to the channel. I'm not going to pussyfoot around. I'm talking today about the Casio G-Shock, the GMW B5000 D-1. That's right, the full metal square. Now, this thing is originally based on the DW5000 series from like 30 years ago plus. Uh, talk about reputation. Now, I love watches, don't get me wrong. And I love digital watches. I have a few including the Casio A168. However, that is stainless steel and chrome plastic, but it only costs $25. So now you have to ask yourself, self? It's no surprise that this watch is a rock star and has a great look and is fun to wear. But what we really want to know is why are we paying $600 for a digital watch? We're going to need to get the white gloves on, get a bird's eye view. Let's go take a look. Now today, for a wow moment, I have on the Omega Speedmaster Professional. Vintage. Enough of that. How about the Casio Full Metal Square? Let's go. All right, the Casio G-Shock. GMW B5000 D-1. So why? Why, ask yourself, are we gonna go from the $25 Casio A168 and jump right into a $600 Casio G-Shock. We better take a look. You got a 43 millimeter case. You got stainless steel bracelet with a mineral crystal. Brick design in that display. DLC coated screw down case back. Of course, Casio G-Shock shock resistance. 13 millimeter thickness. And an overall lug to lug of only 49.5 millimeters. So she actually wears pretty good on the wrist. We have a great water resistance of 200 meters for this digital timepiece or 660 feet. Wow. I'm not comfortable going past two and a half meters, let alone 200 meters. Now, of course, you can expect with that stainless steel bracelet, there is a little bit of heft to that. And this is straight out of the box at 166 rams. So depending on how many links you have to remove, could be a little bit lighter for you. Now we have that digital display running on the Casio caliber 3459 movement. It is a nice upgraded STN display with a wide screen. And like I mentioned earlier, this is based on the DW5000 series from over 30 years ago. If it ain't broke, you don't need to fix it, but you can give it a good refresh. Now it has day date display. As you can see, Tuesday, November 30th. With time, and running seconds. Now some of the added functions for this specific timepiece, hopefully this is where we get our money's worth. We're looking at four different types of alarms you can set. A chronograph stopwatch, and of course, a world timer. And some of the bonuses, we have a tough solar system, which assists in running that battery, and also has the ability to tell the time or monitor the time based on satellite uh, movements around North America, China, I believe, um, the UK. I think there's five different, uh, different uh, countries. And of course, we've got Bluetooth connectivity. So you can actually download the app and then utilize the app in helping you to set the time or different uh, alarm functions. Now, one interesting thing I've noticed in the short time that I've had this watch is that when the watch is off your wrist and packed away, and not in the direct view of sunlight, it actually shuts down the power cell. So let me turn the camera around and just show you that quickly. It's pretty neat. So what should happen is that since the full middle square has been packed away, it's been away from direct light or solar power that it can receive. 
So once you take it out of this can, you should see the display is off and then it turns on on its own. The signal is found and the actual date and time will appear. There you go. Wednesday, December 1st, 7.52 a.m. Boom. Now the loom is fancy. You push that top right button and it engages and it does a fade in and a fade out. And I'll show you a close up of that so you understand what I'm talking about, but it's actually pretty sweet. It also has a countdown timer. And the watch basically runs on the traditional four button functionality. So we have the adjustment button, which is position A. We have a mode button in position B. We have the light over here, position C, which also assists and doubles as a set function button. And then we also have, oh, start stop for a chronograph in position D, my bad. Now she is stainless steel, strong. That bracelet's got some nice heft to it and has a very nice uh, brushed and polished uh, look to the watch itself with regards to the case and the bracelet. It is a push button deployant style clasp. Easy to operate and function, no problem, but it's strong and durable. Hopefully it can get knocked around and not break. I have had it on the wrist uh, and it does fit rather comfortable. I'm not concerned about the weight. I have other stainless steel watches and bracelets that are around that 160, 154 gram weight. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, but just be mindful that yes, you are carrying a little bit more weight on the wrist when you have the full stainless steel bracelet. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room, the cost. I pulled this one out of the display cabinet at the Hudson Bay or the Bay here in Canada. $649. I know it can be located on Amazon as well, around $600, and maybe even some of the other sites online as well um, for a little bit cheaper than that. But overall, that's a little bit cost prohibitive when it comes to myself personally and purchasing a digital timepiece. For all that you're getting, I understand you got to pay for some of that tech that's in this watch, but this watch better be able to drive my car for me at that rate. That being said, I love the design. I love the look. It looks like something out of the future. And you know what, with that design, maybe it takes us into the next millennium. I love the metal look, it's great. Strong, durable, you have that water resistance at 200 meters, you can't beat that. A classic look for something that's been, you know, around for over 30 years. I can't personally justify it for me, but I'm just one person on this planet. This could be for you. The Casio GMWB 5000D-1. Full metal square. At the end of the day, it's a G-Shock. What more do you have to worry about? This thing's just great. A cool appearance, strong, durable feel, water resistance 200 meters, and something that would just be fun to wear. And you know what? It may even be a conversation starter as well. Do me a favor and like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. You don't want to miss the next video. I'm the Covert Crow, and you know there's going to be another video. Thanks for tuning in. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's right there. That's my time for today. Stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.